Perhaps the greatest rivalry of all can be found between siblings. And this Saturday, you can witness one for yourself as brothers Ron and Cal Lee lead the green and black teams against each other in this year's Warrior Football Spring Scrimmage. No punches thrown yet, but the same can't be said for trash talk. I know all of his tendencies. I know what he likes to do on third down and short, third down and long. So we've got a nice game plan going into the game. I think we definitely got the better team. Uh, the guys come out ready to play, ready to take on uh, take on Cal and his guys, then I think we'll be okay. Is that what he said? Oh, well, I'll tell you what. We're really competitive, you know, when we get on the field. I know everything what he does, believe me. <laughs> There's nothing that, that he does that I don't know. For almost 60 years, the Lee brothers have competed against each other. But in a rare game, the two will look to outcoach the other. And the players? Well, they're just as fired up as their coaches. Of course the black team's gonna win because I'm on it. And we you know we got all, all the ballers on the black team. So it's just gonna be a great event just to be out there. I just let the black team think think what they want. I think they're a little bit too cocky right now, so we're gonna have to just punch them in the mouth the first series. And I think we got the uh, probably the best linebacker on the team on our team. I don't know his name at the at the moment. It's, I lost it, but um, I think with that, with that said, we're gonna pull it out. But all rivalries aside, the festival is for the fans to meet the team and see some great football, and that's exactly what the team is planning on delivering. Um, they expect a good time, you know. So it'll be great for the kids, a family event, you know, some hard nose hitting. So it's gonna be a great, you know, a great Ohana fest. And the Ohana Festival begins at 5 this Saturday evening at Aloha Stadium. Parking and admission is free. The scrimmage between the black and green team kicks off at 7. Well, this weekend might be fun and games for the Warriors, but for a group of former Warriors, Saturday and Sunday will probably be kind of stressful. That's because the NFL Draft is scheduled to take place. Honolulu Advertiser's NFL Draft guru and sports editor Curtis Murayama weighs in on this year's Warrior Draft class. This one is what they call the sexier one. You know, receivers, quarterback, you know, everybody's excited about Colt and, and the receivers. Who will be the first one drafted? Might be Ryan Grice Mullins because he had that uh, great pro day where he ran a 4 3 3 40. Uh, but the one everybody wants to know about is Colt. He would be like a steal for, uh, for somebody simply because he can make all the throws, he's mobile, he's a great leader, he's very competitive. He puts it all together. I think he can do something in the NFL and we'll have a career in there. Practice of spring drills prior to this Saturday night's Ohana Festival for the UH Warrior football team today and after today's walkthrough, players and members of the coaching staff took time to chat with students from Pope Elementary School in Waimanalo. The main theme, the importance of academics in relation to athletics. How you doing everybody? Let's talk sports. Just before that scene, it was a whole different type of scene. As the Warrior players split up, according to the teams they'll be playing for come Saturday night spring scrimmage and perform the spirited Ha'a and Haka, essentially staking their claim as competitors. The green team versus the black team. And while the Ohana Festival is all about having a good time and engaging with the fans, when it comes time to snap the football, expect the heat to rise. There's some competition going, even in the locker room, guys don't want to talk to me because I'm on the black team. <laughs> uh, it's, it's all good competition. I hope guys are uh, ready to play on Saturday. There's a lot of laughs and jokes and stuff, you know, but I'm sure right, right when the game starts going, you know, I, I'm pretty sure flares are going to start uh, going off. The competition's really gearing up. I think Ron Lee's do, uh, having a pre-game meal at the on-on before the ball game. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, it, it's, it's fun. The, the offense threw a trick play in, so Cal's going to blitz a little more now. <laughs> so, you know, it's building up into a fun deal. Coordinators Ron and Cal Lee will be the respective head coaches, but the competition between the green team and the black team is actually secondary to the competition for roster spots, and thus the true importance of the spring scrimmage. A final evaluation for the coaching staff of the players looking to get a leg up on a starter's role and the guys still on the cusp of being cut. Some of the guys, the quarterbacks and the receivers, it's another chance for them to go against, you know, live action. The two quarterbacks are really even, you know, Inoki and, and Tyler, so it gives them a chance to go out and compete and, and throw the football. Unfortunately, I hate it, but, uh, you know, we're not going to be able to keep everybody on this team, so a lot of them are playing to, to be on this football team. The Ohana Festival begins Saturday night at 5 at Aloha Stadium. There will be an autograph signing session prior to the scrimmage. Parking and admission is free. 
One of the lessons learned for spring football for the Warriors, it's never too early to prepare. Coach Greg McMacken and his staff are all very familiar with UH's first three opponents, Florida, Weber State, and Oregon State. We have all the films broken down and all the tendencies and, and even a lot of the game plans done for all three of those teams. Today's final practice was more about this Saturday scrimmage with the team split into the green and black squads. The ha-ha battle at the end was all in good fun. As for work on the 2008 schedule, Coach Max says the past 14 days of spring ball have been productive and a lot of time was spent game planning based on scouting reports already put together. We uh, worked on Florida a little bit, and we worked on Weber State a little bit. Uh, you know, it's important for us to put some things in that our offense doesn't run. Uh, so, you know, we've got to jump on them. There's still the big finale. That's this Saturday where everything is free for the Ohana Festival. Parking gates open at 4. The Aloha Stadium opens at 5. The team will scrimmage in the Warrior Bowl at 7. Meanwhile, just days away from the NFL draft, today former Warrior QB Colt Brennan was interviewed on the NFL Network. Colt says what's put him at ease going into this weekend is a conversation he had with Steelers quarterback Ben Roethlisberger. I got a chance to hang out with Ben at the Super Bowl, and it was a great experience, and he was a cool guy. I got a chance to work out with him one time. And, um, you know, he just said that, you know, it's not, it doesn't really matter where you get drafted. It doesn't matter what, what you do after you get drafted. And, um, you know, I know that, you know, for him and my friend Matt Liner, they were kind of projected to be higher in the first round, and they fell, you know, and that was kind of dramatic for them. But it didn't matter in the end. And, and so wherever I get drafted, I think all it's really going to matter is what I do when I show up once I get there. And that's always been the easiest part for me is playing the game and getting on that football field. And coming up tomorrow, we'll hear more from Brennan and let you know where all of Hawaii's draft hopefuls are projected to go. What will you do during the game? Where will you watch the game? Where will you evaluate? We'd be up in the box or on the field? No, I'll be on the field just, just watching what's going on and, and uh, you know, rooting everybody on. And for us, it's really exciting because it's, it's putting together the whole thing. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. That's UH head football coach Greg McMacken. His Warriors wrapped up spring practice this morning. Team gets a day off tomorrow, and they play the Warrior Bowl Saturday night. Maybe the most improved part of the team has been the guys in the trenches. Offensive line, unit lost Hercules Santelli and Larry Sawafea. The guys that replaced them struggled at the start of spring and battled injuries. But now, under the tutelage of first-year position coach Brian Smith, they're coming into their own. That offensive line, now that everybody's healthy, they're starting to show what they're capable of. Yeah, they, they're picking it up and playing together, and we've moved uh, the bear, Keith Osun, in, inside, which he's better suited for. So we're, we're really pretty a sol solid group. I, I believe that's the strength of our offense right now. Fun stuff for fans. Starts at 5.15 Saturday night. Full contact game kicks off around 7.00. Everything is free. University of Hawaii Athletic Director Jim Donovan announced a schedule change today for the 2009 season. UH's football team was supposed to host Navy September 5th. Instead, midshipman under head coach Kenny Neal Makololo, the former UH quarterback, will be Hawaii bound November 21st. Navy asked for the change because they picked up a game against Ohio State.